I'm about to take you on a journey that most of you will never experience again in your lifetime. And that's because speaker Tom Tillis, with his right-hand man Skip Stam, have proposed a 50-year toll road project from Charlotte to Mooresville that won't be stopped unless you take action today. So strap in, buckle your seat belts, and let's go. In this short stretch of highway between 277 and I-85 lies some of the most expensive real estate in North Carolina. And during rush hour, it's some of the most congested interstate travel there is. But after you clear I-85, the most amazing thing happens. Nothing but open road for the next six miles! That's right, folks. There's not even traffic on this stretch of highway during rush hour, so call your representatives and demand they vote against House Bill 267, which grants permission for the NCDOT to toll any interstate the U.S. DOT sees fit. We all know Obama just came out and said that's exactly what he wants to do. Also vote against House Bill 732, which says we may enter into five agreements with a private entity. And if you're in one of the top 30 cities in this state, you're on that list. And then there's Senate Bill 218 called No Tolls on I-95, an Orwellian name for a bill that will do just that. Getting back to our journey, those three yellow signs are where all of our problems begin. In just a half mile, we go from five lanes down to three. Two miles later, we lose an additional lane and are left with only two. I slow the video down so you can understand the overpasses were built to accommodate an extra lane in each direction in this video. We don't need a $666 million toll road to solve the traffic problems. $100 million, an additional general purpose lane, is all we need, and this is how it can be done. Simply widen I-77 to have four lanes to at least exit 23 and possibly exit 25. As you see, the overpasses were designed to accommodate more roads. And keep in mind that the toll road project will cost North Carolina about $180 million. We can widen the road and go with three lanes all the way up from exit 23 or 25 to exit 33 for $100 million. If we spent 180, million, we would be even in better shape. This Agenda 21 toll road scheme will be bad for business and bad for families in North Carolina. One of the reasons it's so expensive is that they will be rebuilding overpasses, bridges that are perfectly fine. Please share this video with your representative with your friends and your family and ask them to also make calls so we can stop this thing dead in its tracks here in the greater Charlotte region before it spreads to every corner of the state of North Carolina, which it is sure to do. We have one of the highest gasoline taxes in the Southeast and we also raid the transportation fund to the tune of $250 million a year. Citizens living along I-77 deserve better. McGuire Nuclear Power Station is right next door. We do not need a lengthy $666 million toll road project when we could simply widen our roads and protect our citizens. As you can see, None of these overpasses need to be rebuilt unless we go with an expensive toll road project that will need to accommodate toll road exits. This is not a left or a right issue. This is a North Carolinian issue. We should all unite to stop these toll roads before we see them everywhere in this amazingly beautiful state of North Carolina. Oh, looky, 
all the way up at exit 31, another beautiful overpass that can accommodate another lane. And on the other side of it, there is another lane from exit 31 to exit 32. It actually goes back to three lanes. Folks, please get on the phone. Demand that your representatives vote against these bills that will legalize Agenda 21 toll roads. House Bill 267. House Bill 732 and Senate Bill 218 and I'll add one more House Bill 540 sponsored by Murray and our good friend Skip Stam it says that you can only get a bill in the mail if your toll exceeds five bucks and guess what you get 15 days to pay it the bill you receive will have your name, your address, the date and time you were on the toll, which part of the road that you traveled, and an image of your vehicle and license plate. The vehicle owner is subject to civil penalties, which would include not being able to renew your vehicle registration. As you can see here, I've taken some video from a presentation done by the NCDOT on their toll road scam. This is bad, folks. We have to stop it. Call today. Yes, these toll road companies, they have packs and they donate big money for pay-to-play politics. And as somebody who is a conservative, I would point out a talking point that I think that the left should use if this does go through, because Republicans do have a super majority. And if these toll roads happen, it is square on the shoulders of Pat McCrory, Phil Berger, and Tom Tillis. Since the invention of the automobile, there has not been toll roads here in the state of North Carolina, after a few short years of corrupt crony, crony Republicanism, we have these toll roads springing up all over. Folks, call your friends, call your representatives, share this video. We can stop it. The toll road contract has not been signed. They've told us it's a done deal for the past few years. It's no done deal. It's not signed. It's not a contract. We can stop it. We're North Carolina. In Charlotte, we are the hornet's nest. We stood up against the British. We can stand up against toll road companies, can't we?